what's going on Aquarius? It's Deb with Goddess of the Moon Tarot. I hope that you are doing well and I hope that this reading finds you safe. Shout out to my Soul Tribe members that are out there that have been showing your girl love and support. I definitely appreciate it and it does not go unnoticed. All right, so Aquarius, let's see what's going on with your cycle this week. And actually, welcome to Windy Wednesday. So you got Whining Gibbous Wisdom, number 22. Ooh, you're gaining a lot of wisdom and a lot of knowledge in something not sure exactly what it is it's probably challenging or something that others maybe said that you couldn't do because i'm seeing that she's sitting in this boat with a whole bunch of books and she's on top of a on top of the stack of books with a ladder so it's like you really had to go through a lot of you had to go through a lot of trials to get this knowledge that you're getting also, welcome back to the Newbie into the News Tarot, you guys. I brought it back. If you enjoy this collaboration, just let me know in the comment section. Fool, exactly. You're going down a path that is not easily duplicated. You're actually going down a path. Look, the path right underneath it. I feel like this was meant for you to do. Yeah, see? The Wheel of Fortune just came out. This was meant for you to do, but I feel like it came with a lot of challenges because it hasn't it hasn't been done in this in this way. Let's put it like that. So you got the Wheel of Fortune right here, Aquarius. So you're definitely on your right path. You're on the wheel being a fixed sign. But there has been a lot of going back and forth in your mind about which way you should go about doing things. Maybe when it comes to your finances, you're looking at your finances and seeing if this, whatever it is that you do for a living is worth continuing to do or if you need to possibly bail out and do something different. You don't want to be left out feeling regretful or feeling like you didn't take the chance or the opportunity that you had in the right way. You want to have a happy outcome with the Sun card. You might have Leo in your chart. Maybe there's a family situation that's going on. Maybe when it comes to finances or when it comes to money, maybe you're the main pro provider. Or you're the person that takes care of all the bills and you're really just wanting to make sure that you're still able to be reliable at the end of the day that's what i'm feeling what's the will let's get some comedic acceptors so as you go on this journey as you go down this path I feel like what is happening is you're being seen a lot of different ways to go about things it's kind of like you can tour the world or you can stay in this you know really lavish area and you know th this is just examples of the that i'm using you have a lot of different ways and choices the decisions to choose from we got a lot of twos right here i mean you got two two on the wiz the uh, wisdom right here and also got two of scepters and the two of discs this is three different decks what's the two of discs judgment is in reverse somebody doesn't want something to completely come to an end it could be people that are a part of your family situation or your legacy with the ten of scarabs they don't want to be ostracized 
or meant to miss out on an opportunity because these people feel like since they've been there since the beginning or they've been here for a long time or maybe their past life soulmates you need to commit to giving them something financially this is also the king of this so we got both of them coming out two different decks when it comes to the finances maybe you're married to this person but like I said, I feel like somebody's trying to keep some security going on in the family. And they're just basically making sure that whatever it is or time and energy that they're spending is worth it. But somebody, the judgment being in reverse is like, they feel like something is not being justified or judged correctly. Or someone it should not be a part of something. What's the seven of this? Fool card. Got it twice. The fool. Somebody just really feels like staying a part of a situation would be considered very foolish when they already have the wisdom to know that there's a, a certain path that they need to choose. And this particular path will just lead to nothing but a whole bunch of regret and remorse and wish what is coulda shouldas. What's the five of this? Or five of cups? Exactly, Justice card, Libra energy, and also Naput. So it's some type of transformation that's going on. Somebody is being guided to go a certain path. They have to go that particular path to be able to get what it is that they're asking for when it comes to their destiny. This could be a Libra, like I said, with the Empress card, Moot. But somebody really doesn't want to go down and they don't want to choose the wrong path this person is really concerned that they will be weighed down by a lot of that with a lot of pressures and a lot of responsibilities that they're not going to be able to handle but they can right now at this moment but they feel like if they don't make the right decision or choice they're going to be stuck having to handle everything what's the sun card Even if this person is getting like a divorce from somebody, they don't want to be stuck having to pay for everything and on top of it having to pay out even more money. Virgo energy, none. So somebody is being advised to go within. This wisdom keeps coming out again because with the none being Virgo energy, that's representing a lot of wisdom. So going within is going to help resolve a lot of issues because I feel like this is like a lot of internal problems that's going on and because it's internal it's being shown as problems on the external what's the ten of cups and then you got justice again but look at this Aquarius you got the will twice so your family is destined to be fortunate but I feel like there's a phase that is going through that is going to eventually bring out some type of justice and some type of um, financial abundance. You might even win the lottery. So that might be what's going to relieve a situation. What's the king of this? Or somebody's going to get some type of big money, okay? Wow, the full card showed up again, y'all. And Justice is right underneath here. <laughs> Definitely talking about a Libra, probably. And you got the sun twice. <laughs> I ten. Don't worry, okay? Don't worry, Aquarius, if you're the one that is responsible for a lot of things. Because on the horizon there is going to be happiness and abundance that's going to happen for you so even if it comes in the form of getting a new job or starting a new business some type of finance is going to come through you're going to get the idea because you're going within as you go within you'll st start to see see the truth let's get you a shamanic
Cave, retreat. <laughs> Focus on you. Get away from it all. Retreat to a spa, enjoy a, a massage, or take a sea salt bath to relieve your spirit. Your soul craves quiet time, rest, and recuperate without guilt in preparation for the next leg of your journey. But I just say, like, just keep on going because I feel like you are going to be in good shape as long as you're willing to allow the universe to guide you. Right now, you just really need to recuperate so that you can go within and see the true answers and what you need because the answers aren't outside of us they're inside of us guys so this is what i have for you aquarius i hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like comment subscribe share hit the post notification bell definitely appreciate the energy exchange till next time i'll talk to you later deuces <laughs>